What is going on guys? Welcome back to episode 3 today. We're going to be talking about the Warden and their three prototypes. Now I'm going to go in detail with all three of these prototypes, but just to get it out there, the Legendary Warden is the best out of the three. I've tested them multiple times in real games, as well as custom lobbies to see what they're all about. And without a doubt, the Legendary Warden is the best out of the three. But starting off, let's get into the rare prototype called Watchdog. And it got a very uniquely named perk called Extra Flare. And believe it or not, it gives you an extra flare. But realistically, the full description of what this says is, holds an additional flare to deter lock-on missiles, but has a lower active lifetime. So the positive side of things, you do get that extra flare, and the negative side of things is that it's not going to last as long. Now just to go over the negative side of things quickly, when you call in the Warden, it does take a few seconds to come on the map, and it does take a few seconds to jump off the map until you can call in another Warden. You know, if you've ever had a teammate call in a Warden and you have yours waiting, you have to wait till it's fully off the map. Now talking about the active time of the Warden is when it gets onto the map and fires its first shot, all the way until it is done shooting. And that is one minute with just the base model of the Warden. You would call it in, it would have an active life of one minute where it could be shooting the enemy. Now if you hop over to the rare side of things with this prototype, it is only active for 50 seconds. So you lose 10 seconds when you're using this, but you do get that extra flare. Now, how feasible is it to have an extra flare on the Warden? Honestly, not too much. So, the testing that I did, I just jumped into a custom lobby. I had the help of PWJ19941, help me out, big shout out to him. Um, I just had him call it in and I wanted to test the Spartan launcher because that seems to be the one that people use the most. Uh, obviously, no one's going to be shooting wardens down with howitzers or anything like that. So, with the Spartan launcher, you get a total of three missiles. Now, with just the basic warden, you have that one flare. So, you shoot your missile, it has that one flare, and then you go ahead and you reload. The warden has no more flare, so you put two shots into it and you have to die or kill yourself and then you have to shoot it one more time for a total of three direct hits in order to take out the warden but then hopping over to the rare prototype not much changes so you do get an extra flare so I pull out my Spartan launcher right uh, I shoot two shots at it so those are both deterred by the flares I then put a third missile into it which gets a direct hit I then have to kill myself anyways or use rewind and then I need two more shots again it is a total of three direct hits to the warden but in the rare case, there are two flares that deter two missiles. So either way, I have to shoot all three rockets and then I have to kill myself or die or use rewind or something like that. And then I have to fully reload my launcher. So either way, it's not really helping out. Now this could all change if the Spartan launcher only had two rockets in it. Because instead of having to kill yourself once, you would then have to kill yourself twice. And again, this thinking is just based on one enemy shooting you down. Obviously, if there's two or three enemies shooting you down, it's not going to make a difference either way. But in my opinion, there's no difference to use this rare prototype over the common prototype. There's really no big benefit. But obviously, for 150 salvage, it's okay to unlock because you do have to get the legendary or the epic if you so please. So you have to unlock that one first anyways. But honestly, it's nothing great in case you are wondering. Now, hopping into the legendary prototype, which is actually my favorite out of the three prototypes, and this gives you the perk called Ammo Swap. Now, what this says is the rear turret now fires bullets, however, both turrets fire at a slower rate. So again, with any other Warden prototype, you're going to have that front turret that shoots bullets, and then you're going to have that rear turret that shoots out the rockets. Now, ideally, yes, they do shoot a little slower, we're going to show you some gameplay of the difference between the two Wardens, but having both turrets shoot bullets is actually really nice. So Normally the Warden is like a fully automatic front turret, you can just hear that thing unload, and the Legendary kind of sounds like a burst fire. But when you have both of those turrets firing, it is a lot quicker than when you have just the base Warden. Now another thing I like about this, because you have two ammo turrets, is that there's no reloading, there's no waiting when you're shooting that rocket. This thing is constantly firing as soon as it sees an enemy, so it's just, it's always on target, and that's why it's my favorite score streak out of the three. Now hopping into the epic prototype called Showtime. This gives you the support drop and what that says is delivers three care packages with a reduced chance of a high tier streaks. Cost is vastly increased. So 
with the epic prototype of the warden it is actually the highest point kill streak we have it bumps all the way up to 1700 points which is even higher than the apex there is nothing above this epic warden so if you're going for this you kind of need to be sweaty there's no doubt about that there's no way you're just gonna randomly get 17 kills or you know depending on what game mode you're playing so you do have to try hard to get this and is it really worth it in my opinion uh, not really. So like normal, I jump into a custom lobby and I called in 20 of these epic wardens. Now each warden drops off three care packages and that's a total of 60 care packages. And out of those 60, some of the ones like you can see highlighted in green here were the higher end score streaks. Again, this specific prototype says it does reduce the chance of you getting a higher end score streak, but there is still somewhat of a chance. It's probably a very, very low chance. But the ones highlighted in green, I did manage to get a Thor, and I did manage to get two Wardens. Other than that, nothing else high-end was given to me. I didn't get an Apex, I didn't get an RC8, Advanced UAV. Uh, I don't think there's not a chance you can get it. I definitely think it's just like a .001% chance you could get one of those higher-end score streaks. But for the most part, I was getting UAVs, counter UAVs. Uh, I got quite a lot of bombardments as well as Scorchers, and a crap ton of Scarabs. So... Honestly, it tends to give you those lower end score streaks like it says. And the biggest question here is, can you actually pick up all three packages or are your teammates going to grab them? Are you going to get killed and give the enemy three care packages? And that's a question you have to ask yourself. Do you want to spend 1700 points on just a warden that may possibly give you three care packages? Again, thinking if your enemies don't kill you or if your teammates don't steal them from you. So there's a lot to consider when choosing this epic warden. Now, in my opinion, I would not use this. I'm not going to try to grind my ass off for 1,700 points just for a basic warden that's going to give me three support drops. Again, I did get a Thor, so that would be the only time I could say it's worth it. But other than that, those low end score streaks weren't really worth it for me getting a 1,700 point score streak. So just to show you guys quickly how it works, you do call in the spot where you want the care packages to drop, just like you would with a normal drone package. And you do pick them up quicker like it's your own drone package. So, you know... If you call your drone package in and you pick it up, it picks up a lot quicker than if you were to steal an enemies or steal a teammates. So that is another benefit of using this. But again, chances are you can't pick up three of them before a teammate can swoop in and try to steal one from you. Again, the perk for this Epic Warden is called support. So technically you're supposed to be supporting your team. And that score streak does exactly that. But out of the three, like I was saying, the Legendary is my favorite. I just find it so much better than having a missile that has to constantly reload. And, you know, enemies can move out of that most of the time. It's not like a heat-seeking missile or anything crazy. So I do enjoy having dual-firing turrets. But other than that, that's going to be a wrap on Episode 3. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I went over the drone package as well as the bombardment. Those will also be linked at the end of the video, so go check those out. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, I have a few in the works, but if there's any crazy ones you want me to check out first, just let me know. But other than that, that's going to be a wrap on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up because it always helps me out. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.